Hello everyone and welcome to Tune In Tuesdays on Tuesday the 19th of July 2022. The deck I'll be using today is messages from your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Cards deck. The focus is on pursuit, so let's choose a card and see. too fragmented so do whatever it takes to get grounded when you're feeling pressure from any number of fronts pulled this way and that by the demands of modern life it's very easy to succumb to a false sense of urgency feel out of balance and fragmented and be in a constant state of tension. You can become forgetful and have difficulty sleeping. You may even attempt to stabilise and centre yourself by resorting to the use of addictive substances or activities, hoping that they'll help you feel more at home in your own skin. Meanwhile, your mind rushes ahead from one thing to the next while your body tries to play catch up. The technological web consisting of computers, the internet, cell phones, faxes and television, plus the noises all around creates a constant assault on your senses. Exhausting, isn't it? First, recognise that most things that you treat as emergencies or crises are merely inconveniences. Then slow down. Move a little slower than you're accustomed to and practice breathing slower and deeper every opportunity you get. This in itself helps you align with your internal rhythms rather than being in a state of continuous reactivity to outside forces. Spend time in nature and take off your socks and shoes. Putting your bare feet on the ground allows you to truly experience your solid connection to the earth. When you do, notice the difference in how you feel and see if your mind isn't at least a little calmer. It may be challenging at times to do any of this, but it can be done. It just takes your clear intention and willingness. Associations, longevity, determination, adaptability, patience, perseverance, earthiness, stability, self-reliance, focus, femininity, immortality methodical, independence, steadiness. Tortoise, pursuit. What are you in pursuit of? Do you now have to take, like it said in the reading, the stance of the tortoise? That doesn't mean that you grind to a halt, but again, as previously, you slow down. Are you here, there, up, down, back, forth, this way and that? Are you winning? Is that okay for you? Does that method work for you? All well and good, but by the sounds of it, no, it's not. And no, it doesn't. If you have to pursue something, my definition is you have to go after something. So as you go after it, what happens to you? What happens to others around you? But most importantly, what happens to you because you're at the centre? And if you break and break down, what happens to you because you pursued something you were in pursuit of? So what this is saying is reconnect with yourself and reconnect with the earth. Take off your socks and shoes. Put your feet on the ground. Place them. Breathe. Chill. Dig in ground yourself. If you think of a tortoise, yes, it's carrying its own house. You might be carrying a house, a burden, but either way it gets there. And if it doesn't get there, it retreats into its shell. So are you in retreat or, and are you in pursuit? I'll leave a further description and I'll also leave you with the thought of the day. 
Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Pursuing. Please hold that thought, leave a comment and take care.